Good afternoon, traders. This is Cloud Chartist with your weekly Ichimoku wrap for the week ending May 13th, Friday the 13th. Uh, not a very bullish day, I might add. We were down 16 points on Friday, um, which is important because we closed below the weekly Tenkinsen. Um, this is significant. Um, in fact, we closed uh, significantly below. Uh, depending on your definition of significant again. <laughs> uh, let me zoom in a little bit. So uh, we had this nice uptrend. Um, we put in this topping tail here. Then we confirmed the, this was a potential reversal candle I discussed. Then we confirmed the reversal with a lower high and a lower low, um, putting us into a downtrend. Um, then we put in this long-legged doji which put in a nice bounce off the tank and sun so that could have been a potential reversal candle and in fact it was we did put in a higher high and a higher low so technically we are still in an uptrend um but price closed below the tank and sun the tank and sun's at 20 50, 13 and we closed eight seven and a half thereabouts points below uh that level so the fact that we did not hold the tank and sun is generally significant on especially on longer time frames um but we'll see what happens if we do get back over that 2050 level then we could continue uh higher um if we don't then we will be heading to lower levels um the next uh there's some horizontal levels that you can look at or or uh, get through other methods but um, the next level that I'm looking at um, to the downside is the cloud um, which is down here at let's see uh, around 19 1984 <laughs> sorry for the pause there sometimes it's I'm looking at the numbers at the top of the screen and there's a lot of them um, so the th the cloud is quite thin in this area so we don't have a lot of support um so if we do get down if we sell off all the way down to 1984 which is pretty far away from here um you know that's like 15 uh, 57 points i think thereabouts uh, from here um if we do get down there um then we could potentially lose support here and continue selling all the way down to the Kijun Sen down here at 1953.88. Um, we will be in, if that does, if we do lose the cloud, we'll be back in bearish territory. Currently, we're still bullish because we're still above the cloud. The Chikao is inside the cloud right now. So the Chikao technically has support and is neutral um, inside the cloud. The Chikao will have support when it gets down here to the Tenkan Sen at 1985. Also, in 1985-63, technically, so just slightly above the cloud. Um, so, you know, if we if we if we start getting, I would say, if we start getting below, like maybe the 2030 area, then um, things are going to look pretty precarious, and the ES could um, come down to test, you know, the 2010 area and then the 1984 level. We do have a flat cloud for the next few weeks and then we have a ramp up in uh, the end of May and the beginning of June right here. Then we have higher support at 2011 thereabouts for first, second, third, fourth, all of June. Um, and then the beginning of July uh, we start ramping down again going down to a lower level of support for August and September back down here at the 1968 level. So um, a pretty flat cloud. So we could just continue to oscillate in this general area for a while. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, do not much of anything. <laughs> Try to fake out the bulls and the bears. All right. That's about all I have for ES. Let's look at crude because I usually do crude next. All right. Uh, because some people only watch my video for crude, so I might as well not hide it in the middle. Might as well get get onto it. So let me zoom in a little bit more. We see that CL has been um, trending up, and uh, then the week before last put an inside candle 
Um, and then, so it did not change the trend from up, it was still up. Um, and then last week we put in a higher high and a higher low. Um, although technically it was a outside candle to the last one, but I'm going to say that we're still in an uptrend. Um, the Chikao is broken above the Tenkan Sen, so the Chikao can continue to move higher until it runs into the Kijin Sen resistance, which next week will occur at about 49.79. And then as far as price over here, uh, we have cloud resistance up here at, um, let's see, 47.64. So that will uh, be resistance to the upside. Then if we do sell, we'll have support at the Tengen set, which is currently at 41.13. Um, I wouldn't be so surprised to see some more flagging action in this area for the next few weeks. And then at this point when we get here, um, price is going to need to decide whether it moves up through the cloud or whether it gets rejected and starts heading under the cloud or it could go sideways into the cloud but it's more likely that it'll either get rejected under the cloud or break through and go over the cloud. Um, Alright, let's look at the NASDAQ. Something was keeping the NASDAQ strong on Friday. I'm not sure what it was because it was an apple. <laughs> um, Looking at the NASDAQ, we see that we're um, in neutral territory as we are inside the cloud. We, we um, Let me zoom in a little bit closer. Um, we closed after testing below the cloud and testing almost, I don't think that we quite tested the Kijin Sen. The Kijin Sen's at uh, 4,388 and the low was 4,30375. So we didn't quite test the Kijin Sen, but we came kind of close. Then we bounced and closed right inside the cloud. So technically still the NASDAQ is neutral. Um, and technically, we did put in a change of trend to the upside after we had these this uh, intact round downtrend. Then we had this long-legged doji here, and then uh, a trend change to the upside. So, if we head higher, we're gonna have resistance at the top of the cloud at um, 43.52. We're gonna have support at the bottom of the cloud at 43.19, which is not too much lower than we are now here. Um, and then support at the, the Kijin Sen below that we didn't tag yet, which is uh, 4,300.88. Um, and then uh, the Tenkan Sen's up here at 4,427.75. If we get back over the Tenkan Sen, that would be quite bullish. Um, the Chikao, you notice this red line looking like an M. <laughs> um, M whenever I see uh, M's are pretty bearish, you don't really want to see M's. Um, the Chikao is holding support of the Kijin Sen at the moment, so if it, main, it continues to hold support of the Kijin Sen then bounces up, it will find resistance at the same level that current price action will find resistance at the cloud. And then the Tengen Sen for the Chikao is actually at uh, 4385.25, so that's another level of resistance if we do uh, bounce that could act as resistance um, for on the bounce to the upside before we get to the 44, 27, 75 tank and send. We do have a um, flat cloud here and then a nice rising cloud. So if we do get back over the cloud on a closing basis, I wouldn't be surprised if we climbed the cloud here um, going into June. Um, similar flat and flippy um, tight range looking clouds in the future for NASDAQ. Let's look at the Russell. Who put those fibs there? <laughs> I'm going to leave them for now. I hope they don't bother you. So um, the Russell was in an uptrend, came up, tested the cloud, and re was rejected, um, continued to reje be rejected. And then last week, let's see what the low was, um, 1096.60, and then the prior week's low was 1097. So we did put in a lower low and uh, a lower high. Um, and we did put in a close below the Tenkan Sen. So the Russell is continues to be bearish and even more bearish because it closed under the Tenkan Sen. So if price continues lower on the Russell 2000 index, um, I wouldn't be surprised to see a test of the Chikao down, I'm sorry, of the Kijin Sen down here at 1072.10. We can see that's been an important level before where um, after this very bullish three day, uh, sorry, three week um, run to the upside, uh, sort of topped out. We got some candles all closing above this level, but retesting it multiple times. And uh, so obviously that's a, that 1072 level is important for the Russell. Um, but it's also important for it to, to 
get back above the Tenkan Sen at 11.04.30. If we do go higher on the Russell, um, we're going to look at the cloud offering resistance up here um, at about 11.59.60. Um, and then um, otherwise, uh, we could trade in a range between the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen. That wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me either. The cheek out is under the cloud and pointing downwards, which is bearish. All right, let's look at the Dow. Dow looking a lot like the ES, um, closed underneath the Tenkan Sen. Uh, the cheek out is inside the cloud, so neutral. Um, in fact, this looks surprisingly like the ES. So if we do. If we fail to get back above the Tenkan Sen at 17,553, then we have um, probably this horizontal level at 17, let's call it 17,455 area, um, which is, uh, yeah, that's about right. Um, obvious prior support, um, that area might hold. Um, then we have some other prior support down here at 17,054. Um, and the Chica will find support at the bottom of the cloud um, here at 17.052. If we lose the 17.052 level, then we can expect to test lower potentially to the Tenkan level down here, 16,853, and that's about where the cloud is at 1,600, uh, six, sorry, 16,820. Uh, uh, 831, 16, 830, let's say. That's where the cloud is. Cloud is real thin here. Um, thin clouds are not uh, as strong as thicker clouds. Hope you understand the rest of the story from my other videos. All right, um, let's look at some metals. Let's look at gold. I've gotta say, I had some fun with silver last week. Um, Gold, I don't trade gold. Um, I used to trade gold back in the day. I just don't trade it anymore. Um, we see that we are bullish in Ichimoku terms. We had this very bullish candle. Then we had this potential reversal candle here, long-legged doji type candle. Then we confirmed the reversal to the downside with a lower high and a lower low. But this is a hammer type candle and it did hold the Tenkan Sen. So we could just be bull flagging for another move higher. This 1256 level is very important for gold. If you're going to be long gold, you want to see that 1255-56 area hold on a closing weekly closing basis. Otherwise, we could be retesting areas lower, such as the uh, 1225 area, 1215 area, or uh, let's see the the new candle. The cloud is going to be down here around 1182. Um, then we have the Kijun Sen at 11.75.70. So there's plenty of support levels to the downside. That 12.56 level is really key, though, um, if you want to be bullish on gold. We did get a little bit. We, ha we have been pushing the boundaries of overbought on the we on basically all the time frames on gold lately. So um, you might want to keep an keep an eye on that if we do um, get another move to the upside. Let's take a look at silver. My neighbors are blasting 80s radio. You probably can't hear it, though. Um, so we see this awesome uh, rejection from the Chikau. It's the Chikau here, this red line representing price action time shift to 26 periods into the past, so 26 weeks in this case. Uh, the Chikau was unable to break out over the cloud, thus these tweezer tops here and the currently existing downtrend for silver. If the downtrend continues, um, we can expect to find support um, potentially at, at this prior uh, support area around 1689, but really um, down here at 1642.30. That is the Tenkan Sen, um, which is currently flat. Uh, it's possible the Tenkan Sen might be open at a lower um, level, representing uh, or echoing the mo down momentum of the last um, week's price action. Uh, we could see it 
maybe tilting down towards the cloud, but I think probably it will remain sideways or close to sideways. Um, so if we lose the 10 consent, 16, 423, um, top of cloud could offer support at 1619, let's say, and then Kijin Sen at 1584. Let's look at some treasuries. My neighbors, yappy dogs are yapping. They're having a pool party in their inflatable pool, listening to Foreigner Urgent, which is actually a good song, if you ask me. Um, I was a Foreigner fan when I was 12 or so. Anyway, we see on uh, ZB that we've been putting in this bull flag type pattern, um, fully bullish over the cloud, um, over the tank and sun. Um, we put in, after this, these, uh, this uptrend, then we had a potential reversal candle and then this big bearish candle re, uh, confirmed the trend change to the downside. Then we had this potential trend change candle to the uh, ups, upside, which was confirmed last two weeks ago by this very bullish yet um, uh, slightly confused due to the topping tail and the bottoming tail um, candle um, spinning top kind of fat spinning top type candle and then um, uptrend continued um, we closed pretty much near the highs and uh, but we are right in this prior resistance area where price has um, failed in the past so if we do fail again to move higher, then we can expect to find support at the tankist down below at 164.02. Otherwise, we could get a break and move to the upside. Um, if we lose the tankist sen at 164.02, I would expect a range between the tankist sen and the Kijin sen to perhaps uh, start going on, and that would be um, from that 164.02 down to the 161.03 level. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we get a bigger picture. We see that um, ZB has been basically trending to the upside and is has been bullish for quite some time. It got into the neutral territory for a right for a while right here, um, but otherwise looking pretty bullish. I'm looking at I've been looking at the the German Bund chart too and kind of wondering if we're gonna make another strong move to the upside. Well, we we shall see. Let's look at the ten year. Um, the 10 year, uh, is looking, uh, pretty darn bullish itself, bull flagging, um, to the upside. Uh, we came down and tested the, uh, or we came up and tested really. We tested the tank and send last week or two weeks ago, um, and closed off the highs with this large topping tail here. And then l last week we, um, closed pretty close to the highs, but, you notice that we failed to make a higher high. So last week's candle is an inside candle to the prior week's candle. So we're still in an uptrend, but not quite as bullish as folks might like, because we do, we're basically confirming that we do have um, resistance right here. Um, we also, if you could do, draw this, I like to draw lines on the cheek out sometimes, it's easier to see. We do have a rising wedge type pattern going on here. So um, if, we, if this pattern, I wouldn't be surprised to see price action sort of do more oscillating inside this and then determine whether or not to break out to the upside or to fail to the downside. So we'll see what happens. Um, all right, let's look at the dollar next. The dollar, um, after uh, putting in a um, bullish reversal candle two weeks ago, um, after three weeks ago, the, the dollar lost the cloud and cl closed under the cloud. So it went from neutral to bearish. Then we put in this um, green hammer candle closing right just, just slightly under the cloud. Potential uh, for reversal. And then last week we did indeed confirm the reversal and we are back into neutral territory for the dollar. 
In fact, we even closed above the Tenkan Sen at 94,485. We closed at 94,61, so about um, 12, 12 and a half uh, ticks above um, the Tenkan Sen. Uh, if we do continue higher and uh, continue to find to the upside, I can we can look at this potential um, horizontal level around 95.10, and then we can look at the Kijun Sen up here at um, 96.24. But technically, we are neutral in uh, Ichimoku terms for the dollar. We do have a rising cloud, so if we can continue to stay in the, in the neutral cloud, then we can price action can't go higher. Um, and uh, that's about it. Let's look at the yen. The dollar's enemy. The yen has been very important. If you trade anything, you should be watching the yen at all times. Especially with Bank of Japan, can do anything on a dime. Um, there were uh, some currency rumors concerning the Bank of Japan last week, um, causing some mayhem. Um, so we see that we have a nice uptrend um, in the yen. Um, then we got a reversal and close underneath the Tenkan Sen, and then this very bullish candle to the upside when uh, when the BIJ announced that they would not raise rates, I believe, um, and uh, weren't going to do any quant any more uh, QE. Then uh, we got a potential reversal candle um, here, a small body kind of a spinning top type candle and we confirm the reversal with a lower high and a lower low and we let's see if we the low was um, 91335 and the Tenkan Sen is at 91295 so didn't quite tag the Tenkan Sen but we're still so we're still bullish and we're still in, um, we're still bullish over the cloud in always Ichimoku but <laughs> we have um a downtrend that's just been confirmed and we have this dip in the cloud below so if we do lose the tank and sun support things start to look more and more precarious for the yen so that um, 91218 tank and sun level is is um, very important keep an eye on that let's look at the Nikkei uh, Nikkei putting in a, a pretty valiant effort to um, move to the upside after a conf after a potential reversal. Candle last week, we confirmed the reversal with a higher high and a higher low, but we were unable to get up above the Tenkan Sen. And, uh, you know, we were up like 300 points or something um, like that on, uh, on Friday, and then we closed down... 245 points almost. Uh, it's like 1.5% on the Nikkei on Friday. Um, taking back a lot of um, gains, as you can see. Lost over half of the weekly candle just on Friday. So that's uh, the tank it sends very important at 16,600. Um, if you want to be bullish overall, the Nikkei is still in bearish territory under the cloud, under the Kijun Sen, under the Tenkan Sen, and the Kijun Sen is bear crossed over the Tenkan Sen. What am I forgetting about? Let's look at the Euro. The Euro um, tried to break out of the cloud two weeks ago and was uh, sucked back in and closed near the lows, and then continued lower last week, and in fact uh, lost the Tenkan Sen support, and closed um, underneath the Tenkan Sen and near the lows of the candle. So if we do continue lower, um, we do have support at the cloud, which is around the 1.11111 <laughs> level, um, and then um, below that at the Kijun Sen, which is currently flat, and that is located at the 1.10602 uh, level. Uh, however, the Chikao could find support at the cloud right here um, before that other stuff happens. And that would be at, let's see, 1.2645. 1.2645.
Let's look at um, coffee. Boring. Um, coffee is doing the uh, chock full of nuts pattern here. Um, just sort of um, oscillating up and down underneath the cloud. Um, we did close in, inside the cloud, so coffee is technically neutral, as opposed to being bearish with the bearish close last week. Um, we're still holding the 10 consent, so just sort of um, chilling out in this range between um, the 10 consent and the top of the cloud really is the extended range now that we closed inside the cloud. So if we do get a move to the upside, we can look for a potential test of the 400.5 um, level top of the cloud or um, if we get a move to the downside we're going to keep an eye on this uh, the bottom of the cloud at uh, 389.20 let's say thereabouts. If we lose that 389.20 then we are potentially in danger of coming back down and retesting the tank consent which wouldn't surprise me at 374.63. Um, I'm going to look at Coco too because I have a new friend who's trading Coco. Might as well take a peek. Um, and he actually had a nice short in Coco, and Coco still looks like a short to me. We put in a weekly close underneath the cloud, so um, this is the first time we've done that in a while. Um, we uh, previously were sitting on top of the Cuban Sun last week, and then uh, we we found some buyers, and then. We came down and lost the 10 consent, lost the cloud, and closed below. This does look like a prior support area um, where we did close. Um, it was a prior resistance area in this general vicinity. So it's possible that we will um, continue to move upside. I wouldn't be surprised if this was some kind of channel here, but who knows? <laughs> we are technically bearish. Um, if we do get move lower, the cheek out is going to come into potential support right here at um, 29.27. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up, keep it not too long. Um, thank you for watching my video. video. <laughs> Whoa, try to uh, make video shorter there. Um, if you're interested in learning Ichimoku, um, I suggest that you get in touch with me. Um, you can contact me on Twitter at CloudChartist. You can hit me up on email, CloudChartist at, uh, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, CloudChartist at gmail.com, or you can look at my website, is, what, website at CloudChartist, uh, cl my website, CloudChartist.com. <laughs> Um, I do have a chat room where I teach from 8 to 4.30 or, the, or thereabouts um, every day, teach people how to trade with um, Ichimoku charts using futures, and uh, it's fun, and uh, we do it live, and so you'd be getting some uh, trade calls while you learn the uh, system yourself. It's not that hard to learn. Um, you know, well, you can you can look a lot, look at your charts while I'm looking at my charts, and we can compare them and um, go over you know why uh, certain patterns and certain levels are important, and at the same time make money. All right. Well, good luck this week, and um, uh, thank you for watching my video, and I'll catch you later.